Hi guys, um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at this problem 312 in the 13th edition, 312 in the 13th edition. As you can see, what you've got here are, it's kind of an interconnected system. So I just thought perhaps this might be um, a nice problem to do because you've got uh, more than one Article that you need to draw a free body diagram of and they're all linked Okay, so it says determine the force in each cable and The force F needed to hold the four kilogram lamp in the position shown So we need to determine Okay, I'm just gonna put it down Maybe I can push the camera down a bit Like this Okay Sorry, this is not the most um, most high-tech setup we have here in the world, but I hope it's helping. So what we've got is, we've got this cable, we've got that cable, we've got that cable, all right? And um, they're not, there's no pulley, so they're not linked together. Um, what is an example? I don't have an example right here. But you can see there's these rings over here, B and C. And from B, we have this um, we have this lamp that's hanging, and at C, we have a, a, an applied force. Okay, so A, B, C, D. As you can see, we've got two rings. So we need to determine what the uh, tension or the forces are in each cable um, to hold the four kilogram lamp. In uh, the position shown so that means this whole system is in equilibrium that particles in equilibrium that particles in equilibrium because of this force that we need to determine and uh, because of the tensions that are developed in these cables okay so let me draw it over here so problem 312 so what we have is we've got B and it's coming up like that Okay, and then we have this lamp here that's hanging down over there. Then we have this cable that's going down there. We have a force. We have another cable going up like that. Okay, that's A, B, C, D. Okay, and we've got 60 degrees here. We've got 30 there. We've got 30 there. Okay? Alright, so the first thing that we need to do, well, what should we do? Okay? So as you can see, it's an interconnected system. What, what happens here is transmitted through this cable into this ring, which then also um, affects what happens in this in this cable and vice versa so it's an interconnected system we've got two particles two we two free bodies we would require two free body diagrams to solve this problem okay so let's start by looking at particle b okay so let's look at b the first thing we need to do is we draw a free body diagram okay so we have uh, let's call it tension BA we have the weight of the lamp and we've got the tension tension BC okay so now wh what you see is now we've done a free body diagram of this ring B okay so now now that we've done this um, we would like to obviously solve for the the tensions in these uh, cables so with without any insight or whatever you know just the basic idea is you just let's set up our, our we know that it's in equilibrium so we set up our equation of equilibrium sum of the forces in the x equals zero and 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 then we'll do the sum of the forces in the y equals zero so, so what are the forces in the x okay let's put in our angles 60 degrees 30 degrees Okay, and weight is going straight down. Now, let's look here. T, B, C, because this is in the positive direction, cos of 30 minus T, B, A, cos of 60. 
TBA cos of 60 equals 0. Okay? We got that? So what, what do we see here? We see we've got TBC that's an unknown and the tension in BA is also an unknown. Okay? So what we need is we need another equation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it over here. Where do we get that from? We get it from this. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero, right? Because we are in equilibrium. So what do we have here? We have TBA, TBA sine 60, right? We're looking at that component there, minus TBC sine 30, minus the weight equals zero. So here again, we've, we, we, do, we don't know what TBA is and we don't know what TBC is. The same, the same two unknowns there, but we do know what the weight is. The weight, the weight is, um, this lamp here is four kilograms. Okay, so we've got four times 9,81 gives us 39,2 Newton. Okay, so we do know what the weight is. So we've got TBA sine 60 minus TBC sine 30 minus 39,2 equals 0. Okay, so here we've got an equation with TBA and TBC. Remember, this is the tension in BA and the tension in this cable BC. Okay? T tension in BA, tension in BC. Then previously we've also got this equation, T TBC. Let's call this equation now equation one. Okay? And let's call this equation two. So we've got two equations and two unknowns. Okay? So let's look at equation one. Um, the reason why I'm starting with equation 1 is because it seems it's the simplest for me to get one unknown in terms of the other unknown. Okay? So, what can I do? Let me get TBA in terms of TBC. Alright? So, I will have TBA, if we, if we rearrange this equation, we're going to have TBA cos 60 equals TBC cos 30 and TBA then equals 1,733 TBC. So what we've done is we have essentially just gotten, gotten the one unknown in terms of the other unknown force. Okay. Now that we've got this, let's put that into 2. So here we have TBA, and TBA is equal to that. So let's put that in, 1,733 TBC. But we still need to put the sine 60 in there. Minus TBC sine 30 minus 39,2 equals 0. So what you notice now is we've just got one unknown, TBC. And if we solve for TBC, okay, you guys can do this on your own. We'll see that TBC is 39,2 Newton. And then if we plug that TBC back into there, we'll see that the tension in BA is equal to 67,9 Newton. Okay, so what we've done now is we've just isolated this particle and we've set up the equations of equilibrium in the x and the y. We know that the mass of the, of the lamp is 4 kilograms. Okay. Then we, so we set up our two equations. We got TBA in terms of TBC. It doesn't really matter. You could have gotten TBC in terms of TBA and then plugged it in here. But I just chose that way. And we got TBA equal to... Um, 1,733 times TBC, okay? 
and then we plugged it into there and, and we, we, we solved this. Okay, so now we've got the tension in AB and we've got the tension in BC. We still need to determine F and the tension in CD. All right, so if I just continue here, now I'm going to do a free body diagram of C. Okay. Again, this will be tension CD. This will be tension BC. So what I want you to notice here is that with regards to the free body diagram of B, the tension is in that direction, right? The tension BC is a way it's pulling on the on on the uh, ring but uh, over here for C you need to see that it's pulling on uh, the the ring C so essentially what you're having is you're having this right because it, there's tension in the rope if this is a uh, ring B and this is ring C this is essentially what we have guys so Please make sure that you have this, the, the, the directions of your forces in the proper way, okay? So this is the free body diagram of B. This is the free body diagram of, of C. And we have our force coming down here, okay? So for B, the tension is in that direction. For C, the, t the, the force is in that direction, okay? So I hope that's clear, okay? Equal and opposite uh, reactions, okay? So now, now that we've got our free body diagram of C, what are we going to do? Okay, we already solved for the tension in BC, so we've got some information. So the point is, we had, we used this, and basically, the way I think you should try to always solve these interconnected problems is isolate the free body diagram that will give you the most information, okay, and that will allow you. You see, if you just if you started with C, you would have had um, three unknowns and two equations. You would have had two equations from this from the sum of the forces in the x equals zero and the sum of the forces in the y equals zero. You would have had just these two equations, but you would have had three unknowns: T B C, T C D, and F. Okay. However, if you because we started with B. We had two equations, but we only had two unknowns. So, so when, you, when you're solving these, try to look for that. Okay, ask yourself, if I'm going to solve this problem, what are my, how many equations do I have? I've got these two in this case. If you've got a, if you've got a spring force, you'll have a third equation as well. All right. But ask yourself how many equations and how many unknowns. How many equations do I have? How many unknowns? Okay? And then how do I link these two problems? I link it through this tension here. Okay? So now that we've calculated TBC, now we can solve this problem because we've got two equations and we're going to have two unknowns, T, C, D, and F. Okay? So let's have a look here. Sum of the forces in the X equals zero. So let's put in the angles here, 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Now guys, what, um, what, what I'd like you guys to begin to learn to do in, in, in every class that you, that you uh, are taking, not only mechanics, but every class, learn to have an intuitive understanding of what's going on. If you have an intuitive understanding of what's going on, then... Um, it will seriously help you because then once you do your calculations you can look at your calculations and say yes that's right because of my intuitive feeling okay um, also I, I guess I guess within this intuitive um, understanding um, what we have is 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 just the ability to look at the problem and try to figure out what's going on what do I mean by that well if you look here do you see that we're trying to solve T, C, D, and F, okay? Now, if I look in the X direction, even without writing out um, T, B, C, cos 30 plus T, C, D, cos 30, can you just see that because these are the same angles, right? They're the same angles. 
and they're separated by a ring, and they're in opposing directions. Can you see that TCD will equal, will, will equal TBC? Right? Let me write it out here. Minus TBC cos 30 plus TCD cos 30 equals 0. So, so can you see if we just if we can if we divide by cos 30, we will end up with TCD equal to TBC. Okay, so th this is the mathematical way, which is 100% correct. But just by looking at this, right, that force is equal to that force because the angles are are, are the same. If that force was up there at say 45 then of course they would not be the same, right? Just by, just by looking at it. Obviously the x's would be the same and, and okay. But anyways, I'm just trying to give you a bit, of a bit of insight into that. Nevertheless, TCD is calculated to be the same as TBC, which is 39,2 Newton, all right? Now, um, the other thing to, to have a look at is that F didn't have any contribution along the x-axis. It was only, it's only uh, contributing in the y, along the y. So now if we go sum of the forces in the y equals zero, what are we going to have? We're going to have TBC sine 30. But now, based on what, I ju what we just learned here, can you see that TCD is, is TBC? So the tension in that ca cable is the same as the tension in that cable. The angles are the same. So the vertical components will be the same. So TCD equals TBC. So if I've got two of these going up, all I need to go is 2 times TBC sine 30. Okay, sorry. Uh, it looked like it was out of the, out of the picture. Okay? So we've got two of these and same angles and they're both positive okay minus f equals zero so tb tbc is 39 comma 2 so f then when we solve for f we f also equals 39 comma 2 newton all right and i think that is it that is the that is everything. So the tension in B A was sixty seven comma nine. The tension in B C is thirty nine comma two. The tension in C D is thirty nine comma two. And the force is also thirty nine comma two Newton. Okay? So yeah, I hope that um, helps a little bit. Cheers, guys.